Hey, welcome back to Aspire. It's now time to talk about what's buzzing in the world of luxury. British sports car maker Aston Martin has unveiled two new special edition models of its V8 Vantage and DB9 sports cars just ahead of the Geneva Motor Show next month. The new V8 Vantage will be sportier and go with a price tag of over 93 lakhs. The DB9 you can get in special editions of carbon black and carbon white. For the price, we'll have to wait. It's master artist S.H. Raza's 92nd birthday and Vadera Art Gallery in Delhi is celebrating it with an exhibition of his new work inspired by the teachings of Gandhi. This book, Raza, A Journey of the Master and this one called Geezers are going to be launched at that event. In fact, you'd recall that one of Raza's work on paper went for 5.75 crores at a recent Saffron Art auction. Indeed, S.H. Raza remains one of the most important modern Indian art contemporaries. But when you talk about that space, there is one artist who has been getting a lot of attention. The focus is on B.S. Guy Tonde, especially after the Christie's auction that took place in Mumbai, where one of his paintings commanded a price of 23.7 crore rupees. So what makes this artist the flavour of the season? Yes, telling you. There is something, obviously there is something aesthetic about the work as well. There is something very calming about it. We've had um, in 2013 two very strong million dollar works by Gaitonde. We are always trying to source a great Gaitonde. He may be the new poster boy of Indian modern contemporary art. But truth is, though expensive, his shot at global fame has been delayed. An amazing artist who died in 2001. His works so few, the art market is ever eager to own some. Someone like Hussain or Raza, they are much more prolific, while Gaitonde painted five or six paintings a year. When one does come into the market, invariably a new record is created because it's just so difficult to get. The latest record he broke is with this painting, sold for $3.8 million at the Christie's auction in Mumbai last year. Now we hear of a retrospective for the artist coming up at New York's famous Guggenheim Museum in October. Rare for an Indian artist, who started with figurative paintings but found his calling in the early 1960s when he moved to abstracts using palette knives, paint rollers, even torn pieces of newspaper. One can see the evenness of the brush stroke, the way he um, you know, used his roller and, and, and his palette knife to create texture. And I think that's one reason why Gaitonde is certainly have, has been pushed into a different league, a different plane. I think, you know, partly it's the critical appeal of these works and, and a new sort of Look, looking at, at a curatorial approach that's really um, bringing new prices and price levels to, to these artists. While he wasn't alone to dabble in abstract art, contemporaries like S.H. Raza with his famous Bindu fixation, Akbar Padamsi, Jahangir Sabhawala all experimented with abstract art in the 70s, in a sense questioning the nature of the image. But Gaitonde's patient strokes have paid off. The untitled painting number no. 3 from the 1960s leads the Sotheby's Modern and Contemporary South Asian Art Auction in March, estimated to fetch in excess of $2 million. There are plenty of collectors in you know, India who would, uh, who would buy a Gaitonde work at any price. You know? And it just so happens that an auction work may have gone to an international collector. But, uh, but like I said, you know, the underbidders were probably mostly Indian. If you think of the American equivalent, it's probably worth 30 to 40 million dollars. So the Indian equivalent of two, three or four million dollars seems to me still very inexpensive. And I think he's as good as anything that was going on in, in the West. So we go around now saying, well, two to three million dollars, it's quite a lot of money. But I think you'll look back in 20 years time and think, oh, I wish I'd bought Guy Tondi. <laughs> 
As the prism of Gaitonde's market expands, if the master were alive today, he wouldn't measure his success with the price he commands. And that, as in the case of many artists, is the irony in his success story. There are artists out there who really shot to fame like a bolt from the blue. He is telling you more about them. Picasso for one got fame many, many years after his death. His 1932 painting, Nude, Green Leaves and Bust, was done in a day. It sold for a whopping $106.5 million in 2010. Arguably one of the most well-known artists of all time, Vincent van Gogh picked up the brush in his 30s. But most of his famous pieces were created in the last two years of his life. Ditto for the father of French Impressionism. Claude Bonnet may have tasted some success at age 33 with this iconic work, Impressions, Sunrise. But real fame came to him in his 40s only after the death of his wife. Time now to slip into another quick break on this edition of Aspire when we return. We're catching up with the red carpet bag lady Sangeeta Asumal at Taj Land's End just to understand what it's like to do business in India for an international luxury brand. <laughs>